Hey everyone, welcome back to PS4 Linux. This is going to be the fourth and the last video in a tutorial series where we have been learning how you could build your first PS4 Linux distro. In the first part, we learned how you could install Linux onto a virtual machine. In the second video, I showed you how you could uninstall the unnecessary packages, install the necessary packages and update the system. In the third video, I showed how you could install the graphic drivers for the PS4. And in the fourth video, we're going to do the final step before installing it on the PS4. That is, we're going to back up the system and create a tar.exe archive, which can be easily installed on the PS4. In this video, I'm going to show you the process in extreme detail so that you can just copy it. All right. So one of the first things to do is make sure that your virtual machine, in our case, it was PS4 Linux, is selected and then go to the USB menu that you can see right here. And as you can see, USB 2.0 is enabled, but we need USB 3.0. So I'm going to enable that and click OK. We are going to need this little setting because that will help us later in moving the backup file to a USB drive. All right. So once that is complete, I'm going to start the virtual machine. To go full screen from here, all you have to do is press on right control and F together. So now we are within the system. There are a few things that you have to take care of before you back up the system. Make sure that you're deleting all the unnecessary files. For example, we had downloaded the drivers in the earlier tutorial. That is the third part of the tutorial, right? It was in the downloads folder. We're not going to be requiring that anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to select these folders and delete them permanently. That's it. So that makes us almost ready. But if you want to remove any unnecessary software still, I would suggest you do that right now. OK, and if you want to learn how you could remove the unnecessary software and install the necessary software, make sure that you check out the second part of this tutorial. In fact, I suggest you check out all the first three parts of this tutorial. All right. So with that out of the way, let us just get started with backing up the system. So to do that, what I have to do is open up a terminal right here. Now there are multiple commands that you could run to back up the whole entire system. If you feel like this command is not suitable for your case, or if you need alternative commands to back up your system, you can always check out my article where I have talked about this in detail and I have listed a few alternate commands that you could run to back up your system. First, I'm going to show you how you could back up your system while Fedora, your, your virtual machine is running. All right. So this is the first method. In the second method, what we're going to do is we're going to shut down the system and back up the system while our virtual machine with our distro and the graphics drivers installed is not running. So this is only the first method. If this does not work out for you or if you feel like you would want to back up the system while it is shut down, make sure that you follow the second process. And you can always check the timestamp in the description to go to that part of the tutorial. All right. This is the first method to back up the system using the first method. First, we're going to change directory to the root. To do that, just type cd space slash and then press enter. So we are now uh, in the root of this file system. Then we're going to type sudo space tar space hyphen cvf. And then I'm going to choose a name for my archive. In my case, it would be ps4 linux dot tar dot xz and then space hyphen hyphen yes you need two hyphens and then type exclude is equal to slash ps4 linux dot tar dot exe space hyphen hyphen exclude is equal to slash var slash c a c h e cache space and then hyphen hyphen o n e hyphen file hyphen system and then a forward slash and then space again and then a hyphen a capital i and then a space and then we're going to put this in inverted commas that is x z space minus nine and then we're going to close the inverted comma this is a command that has been suggested by devs like Hakuraifu. We're going to try that. So let me explain the command quickly to you. CVF, make sure that this is a compression that is taking place. That is the C part. V, make sure that you're being shown what is being compressed in real time. F is for forcing the compression. And then this is the name of the archive that we have chosen. And this command that is exclude is equal to slash PS4 Linux. This makes sure that the compression procedure does not try to actually compress the archive and then where cache is not something that would be we would be requiring so we have excluded that one file system is another 
useful command that uh, is usually used when you're backing up the system and xz9 is about the compression method that we're going to use uh since that is out of the way just press enter provide your password that's it the process is going to start we're going to wait for the process to complete and let's see And congratulations, we have completely backed up the system. To see if the backup archive has been created properly, we're going to go into the root folder. To do that, just click on the file manager and click on this twice. So we are in the root folder. As you can see, this backup has been created. Now, the installation instructions have been covered properly in multiple tutorials. So we're not going to cover that in this video. But if you are still confused about installing these, you can always check out my article. I'll leave a link to that in the description. You can just follow them. Now I'm going to show you how you could copy this backup to a USB drive. Okay. To do that, I'm going to exit from the full screen mode by pressing on right control and F together. And then I'm going to plug in my USB drive. Now with that plugged in, all you have to do is right click on this USB icon and choose your USB drive. In my case, it is SRT USB. As you can see, it pops up. Now I'm going to open it to the file manager and I'm going to go back to the full screen mode. Now here we have the backup file. All you have to do now is copy it from here and then paste it onto your USB drive. Now this was the first method to back up your entire system. So we had the distro running while we were backing it up. Now in the second method, I'm going to show you how you could do the same while the distro is switched off. And for that, we're going to need a live CD. And to do that, first of all, I'm going to shut down the distro by going to log out and pressing shut down. Now we're back in the virtual box window. And the first thing I'm going to need is a live CD. So this live CD ISO could be from any distro. For example, you could even use Ubuntu distro for backing this up. It doesn't matter. But for this example, I'm going to use a Fedora 35 live CD. I've added the link to the description. You can just download it straight away from there. All right. And to do that, all you have to do is click on storage right here. Click on this empty disk icon and then click here, choose a disk file. And as you can see, I have my live CD loaded right here. Now, another step you might have to take here is click on this live CD or DVD. Make sure that this is checked and then press OK. Then we're going to start the live CD. Now, use your arrow keys to scroll up and click on start Fedora LXD Live 35. Press enter. Now this is the live CD. First of all, we're going to find our distro. To do that, go to the file manager and we have three drives here, which are in yellow. And just above that, we have the 11 GB volume. This is supposed to be our distro. To make sure that this is your distro, all you have to do is go into the home folder. And as you can see, we have a folder noob 404, which, yet, which we had created for the distro earlier in the first step, right? So this is our distro. You have to be in the root folder of the distro and this is what the root folder of the distro looks like. As you can see, we have folders like bin boot, dev, etc, home, etc. Take a good look at it before we proceed. All right. And now what we're going to do is click on tools while being in the root folder. We'll click on tools and then click on open current folder in terminal. Now this is going to say terminal emulator is not set while you're running from the live CD. Click on OK and in the terminal emulator blank. All you have to do is type LX terminal and then close it again. Go to tools, open current folder in terminal. As you can see, we have it right here. Now, all you have to do is type this command. sudo paste star paste hyphen C V capital J P F space. Now we're going to choose a name for your archive. In my case, again, it would be PS for Linux dot tar dot X Z hyphen hyphen exclude is equal to ps4 linux dot tar dot xc that is the same file i have already explained why the step is necessary and then i'm gonna type space and then hyphen hyphen exclude is equal to dar slash c a c h e and then space again and then i'm gonna type asterisk and that's it. All you have to do now is press enter. 
and as you can see the process has completed and we have our archive right here that is in the root folder of our distro so now we're going to copy it to our pen drive to do that i'm going to exit out of the full screen mode by pressing right control and f you would remember the steps from the first method but i'm just going to repeat it so we're going to right click on the usb icon and then choose our pen drive that would mount it onto our distro right here now i'm going to open it then i'm going to go to this root folder of our distro right click on it copy it and then go to the pen drive and then paste it right here that's all you have to do as for the installation instructions i have already told you that i have detailed instructions on my article on the blog you can always check it out and with that my dear friends you have built your first ps4 linux distro congratulations on that I hope you like the tutorial and if you like the tutorial, just don't forget to click on that like button. Leave your comments below, subscribe to the channel and share these videos with your friends who might be interested in building their first Linux distro for the PS4. And also don't forget to check out my blog, I have the link in the description. Do subscribe to our email updates on the blog so that you get the updates of our latest distros, kernels and everything else directly to your email. At last but not the least, I would also like to thank all the devs that have made this possible today. On that note, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye, guys.